Hello everybody, we're going to be doing a special gameplay here of uh, Heroescape. Yes, we want to feature some other games too on the channel, so we're going to be playing Heroescape. This is a pretty popular one actually, for those who haven't. This mm -hmm. game's been out of print for a while since it got popular. But uh, it's such a good game, we got this actually when it was in print as kids. My, uh, uh, at least ten years ago, it was like my fifth grade birthday party or something like that and, yeah, yeah. and uh, for my birthday my friend who had this brought it over and we played on the table of giants battlefield and it was so fun like we just played on the floor here in the yep. basement right here and after playing that uh, the next day I went out and bought the master set and then uh, slowly but surely we bought all the expansions because a lot of people who buy this game the master set isn't enough you want all the custom uh, the, oh. the new tiles and all that stuff so we're playing with stuff like the bridge set the castle set um and i, I think all these troops are actually from expansions except him yeah <laughs> so yeah we've got all expansion armies um so today we'll be playing a game of uh he'll be playing as utgar i'll be playing as jandar it's gonna be knights militiamen against the swarm of the morrow and uh we'll see who can control uh what's our battle here called this is one of the ones we built off of online the broken skyline so that's what we'll be playing today so you guys can uh sit back and enjoy as we play we'll discuss uh we will discuss strategy somewhat but uh it's just more for fun so uh enjoy all right, so this is our board here. We've got the Mar there on the left and the Knights on the right. And uh, so we've got these high points, the towers. They're going to be fun to deal with. Uh, so if we can get people up the ladder onto them and shoot down, that's always fun. I've played this one a lot. Um, we've also got a glyph over here, back here, that you can't see. And we've got this one here. And so those will be glyphs you can control. Uh, road spaces, you'll get three extra movement if uh, you start it on the road. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. We'll see how this goes. So uh, let's roll for initiative and see who goes first. Stuff over and over. All right, uh, we're uh, going to be rolling for initiative here. Then we get to activate on a turn three times an army card. Um, you can pick the same army card more than once, or you can pick different ones. We'll have different army cards you'll get to see here in a second. And what will happen is you get to move your troop and then attack with them. And uh, we'll show you how that works as we go through here. But all right, Hyrus Roller goes first. 14, 14 wins. Four. Okay, cool. Go ahead, Akgar. Alright, so here's my army. We've got the Stingers, Nikoksa, Mibuksa, the Modern Hounds, and Kimoshi. Yeah, and you can see I have an order marker on all of them. There's a 1, 2, and a 3, and then there's an X. My, just to throw your opponent off. Yes. My first people are the Modern Hounds. With the Martin Hounds, they have a special ability in which they start with one movement and then I roll the 20 sided die. I rolled a 17 on the 20 sided die. Thus, I get to add 7 movement. So they get to go pretty fast. They will so just, I don't get that as much. I guess they get thrown off or something. Though. Yeah, who knows? Alright. Martin Hounds will engage their movement. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, oh he ain't getting all the way up. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yep. Five. Alright. What do you do? They get to move, but they're not in range to attack yet because they're all melee. The only people that Ben uh, can use to shoot are these guys and this guy. And for me, my shooting guys are the militia. The rest of all have to be next to each other to attack. Alright. First up are going to be the Knights of Weston. They're going to lead the Valiant Charge against these evil forces. And they get the ability Human Champion Bonding, where I can pick one of these two guys to go first. So Gilbert will lead the way. One, two, three, four, five. And then his special ability is I get to roll these ten blue dice. And for each special icon I roll, I get to move four of my troops that many spaces. Alright, here we go. I got one. One special icon. So I get to move people one. As much as I'd like to move these guys up, I'd have to go up a cliff and they wouldn't get anywhere, so I'm going to have to move these guys. I'm going to go one, 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 one. There. Alright, then I get to keep going with the knights. It's their actual turn now. Uh, they get to move four spaces. Uh, this guy will go one, two, three, four. This guy will go one, two, three, four. This guy will go... One, two, three, four. 
we'll go one, two, three, four. So that, that moved four, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. So that's my turn then. Up next, we've got Kimoshi, who has a movement of six. One, two, three, four, five. And that's all he'll do. All right, my number two again is the Knights. They're going to do Human Champion Bonding on uh, Sir Gilbert. He's just going to go... I don't know if I want to move him that far up. Martin Hounds aren't going again, so I have a little time. Two, three, five. I guess I could move him all the way and just start attacking. Do I have to roll for their plague when I attack? No. Okay, so when they go. Mm -hmm. So I have a chance to kill him. Why not? He'll go up there. We'll find out how this goes. So he attacks now. Alright, so on our cards will tell us how uh, we roll. So each of these dice uh, has a side. It's got a blue side for defense, red side for attack, and then the special side, which just means nothing in a case like this. Uh, so I, as the attacker, want to roll red. He wants to roll blue for each extra red I roll. That's more than his shields. I do will damage. Uh, so my so heroes have health. Units, though, just have one. So usually it just kills the unit. So my hero, Sir Gilbert, gets three attack dice, it says. And I get one because I am higher in this battle. And the Mario Hounds have five defense. So I'm attacking one of those hounds. I've got one attack. And I kind of rolled three shields. So I have not killed his unit. Ha! All right. So I don't get to remove his troops from the battlefield, but I do get to move my knights forward a little extra with Chandler's Dispatch. Again, just a one. That's sad. All right, I'm going to move this one one. This one one. This one one. And this one one. Then I'll move them their normal turn. This one will go one, two, three, four onto the glyph. We'll see what this one is. This one is the Jandar glyph. Is that in there? There it is. Yep, all right, here we go. The Jandar Glyph, or not the Jandar, the uh, Jurda Glyph. I don't know, it's just known as the Defense Glyph. It gives us an extra defense die now, as long as I have a troop standing on that for the whole army. But if he dies, I don't get that. All right, so let's say I move three more troops here. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because I get that plus three movement for being on the road the whole time. This guy will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because I was the four road there. Um, I took one more. I move this guy. One, two, three, four. In case you come over, I'll have the height advantage. Unless you get a good movement that you can go behind. All right, nobody's into attack, so it's your number three, Ben. Up third for the army of the morrow is Me Berksa. He will go. One. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just have to say, I like this figure. He just looks cool. He, he was does. one of the first ones we got, too. And then, with his special ability of Paralyzing Stare. The Berksa has a special ability called Paralyzing Stare, in which when I attack a unit, I may roll the 20-sided die. And if I roll a 16 or higher, that unit no longer rolls defenses for this combat. I guess they poop in their pants. I don't know. Something. Mm -hmm. Maybe. They're paralyzed. So I'll do a paralyzing stare on Sir Gilbert. Nope. I get to roll my defense dice. Me Berksa is now shooting at Sir Gilbert. Now he doesn't have the paralyzing stare, so I get some defense dice. So he's shooting him with his weird alien gun. Alright, Ben gets three attack dice. I get four plus one because I have that defense clip right now. Uno. None. None uh, of those were you. So I take a wound. Ha. All right, so Sir Gilbert has six lives. He has lost one of them. Once he loses all of them, I have to remove him from the game. Damn. All right, it's the knights again. I moved them all this round. Uh, so the knights will do human champion bonding. I will do it on him. He's going to uh, take a swing at that little hound right there. All right, I get four attacks, plus one because I am higher. It's a standard of three. All right, and you get five defense. Here we go. Three. Three, dang it. All right, Jander's Dispatch real quick. Oh, I got some specials, four. That's gonna be really good, actually. So I'll get to move people four. All right, I'm going to be moving these guys in the back to bring them up for some help. Uh, this guy will go. One, two, three, four. 
then oh no, I'll leave them here in case I need the plus three. This guy will go one, two, three. This guy will go one, two, three. And this guy will go one, two, three, four. It was basically like getting a full move with them. And now I get to go another four. So I will be moving up this one to here. This one, one, two, three, four, to there. This one will go one, two, three, four, one, two. And this guy will get to go. He's gonna come down from the hill because this guy didn't charge him. And he's gonna charge that guy instead. Alrighty, now uh, the knights are going to attack as follows. This one will attack that one. That one will attack this one. And these two guys will pound on that guy. Alright, so the knights will have a standard attack three. I'm gonna be attacking the ones that are in that kind of lower hill first. So I get a plus one. So four against your five. So we'll do the first knight. Three. Three. Dang, I get these good rules and get all these defense. Alright, a second knight. Four. Yeah, so we're going to remove one from the game board, and uh, we'll do the next attack. Alright, uh, then uh, we're going to do the other two knights. They're on the same level, so they don't get that little plus. Oh, I forgot for that last one, they should have got another plus two, because they were next to uh, Mr. Gilbert. Oh, but okay. I forgot it, so, oh well. Alright, uh, the other two. 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 And the other one. One. Three. Alright. All right, this one's dead, so go ahead and remove your troop. One hound is down. Oh. All right, so that was one round of gameplay. Usually you play for a certain amount of rounds in some scenarios. We just play until somebody's dead. Um, so uh, next up, we'll roll the 20-side die to determine the next round. Nine. 20, really? You're going to play that way? All right, you're first, I guess. Up first, we have the Martin Hounds. So I will roll the 20 set of dice to see their bonus movement. I rolled a 1. Wow, that's the worst you could do. It's okay. They get a bonus 1 movement, so they move I guess two they, spaces. I guess they didn't really need to move, though, so. Okay, this Martin Hound is going to go like this. Yeah, I'm going to stay here and just pound on these guys. This Martin Hound is going to go like this. I know why you're doing that, too. <laughs> now it's time for the Morrow Plague. So yeah, those, those hounds, I guess, got a plague on them. And it's going to hurt my troops. Yep. So it's after moving, which I moved. And before I attack, I get to roll the 20 set of die for each figure adjacent to a Martin Hound. And if I roll a 16 or higher, they take a wound. So we'll go with the furthest knight is dead. Wow. Can we get some more 20s? And then the next knight. Yeah, another 20. That's not fair at all, okay? <laughs> That's another 20. Uh, the third knight, a 19. How's that? What is this? <laughs> we'll go with the fourth knight. We'll okay. skip over Sir Gilbert. Oh, he's not dead. Good. And we'll go with Sir Gilbert. No wound there. So three knights have been killed by the plague. Those were some. What did you have to roll? 16 or higher. Wow. And I rolled a so... 20 for that guy, a 20 for that guy, and a 19 for that guy. That's like almost one entire squad of these knights killed. Yep. All right, three of them removed. Now he gets an attack with this guy. And he will swing at the knight. Actually, it's more of a bite, but you know, who cares? Cool. So, when I said who cares, I meant the Martin Hound cares, because it would rather bite than, what did I say, swing? I guess, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, I got a defense of four, plus one because of the glyph, and plus one because I'm higher, so hopefully I roll good. You and I got, got three. three! Gotta be in the box. Two. Two! Two. I'm good. Safe. Safe. Boo! Boo! Alright, so it's the Knights first. Uh, they're going to do human champion bonding, and it's going to be on, uh, we'll do it on Sir Gilbert, because I want to get those knights a little further up there. So Mr. Gilbert, he's going to swing his sword at the Marden Hound. Alrighty, so we got our uh, ruling boxes, and I got four attack versus his five defense. Three! Oh, come on. Really? Really? Even the first three of your rolls were good. I'm just too good. All right, so then I get my Jando's Dispatch, so here we go. Dose. Two. All right, my knights are going to go one, two. One. One, two. And I don't want to move him. I don't really care to move him, so that's going to be it. And then I got my normal movement. Oops. He did. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, for my extra movement. Then one, two, three, 
four, one, two, three. This guy gets to go on four. One, two, three, four. Cool, cool there. All right, and then uh, this knight's gonna attack the lower hound and this one will attack the same level hound. All right, I get uh, three attack, plus one because I'm higher, plus uh, one because I'm next to Sir Gilbert who gives me an extra die. I have my fire defense again. All right, here we go. Two, one. Out of all that, one. All right, that was a good defense though. I know. Right, then the same level guy, only has three. Two. One. Oh, oh, he got his hit in. That hound is going to be removed. This hound little hound killed. went wham. Okay, up second we uh, have the good old fashioned Morrow Stingers moving. These guys. So, they will now move their appropriate movement of five. You get to move three of them. Yes. And this one will go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And then, they will now roll their Stinger Drain. The Stinger Drain is a nice ability that lets you get an extra attack die if you roll what? An eight or higher? A ten or higher. Okay. And if it's like a one through what? Four. four you have to kill one of them. Eight, so nothing, nothing happens. happens. Now, the Morrow will attack. We're gonna first shoot this Morrow guy at... Is he in range? No, so we'll shoot at this guy. Yeah. Okay, my Morrow have an attack of three and your knight has a defense of four plus one because of the glyph. Hey, that's No not. attacks. So we'll just use the second one on the same knight. A one, a none. That's just that's just wrong. And the third stinger will shoot at Sir Gilbert. He has defensive five. That's two. That's a one, so he will take one more wound. All right, this one's dead. Gilbert the takes a wound. All right, then it's my turn. It's gonna be those knights again. We're gonna do human champion bonding. Um, do I want to go with Sir Gilbert? Yes or no? Do I move Denrick up? Yeah, I will go with Sir Gilbert because I feel like I have to move some of these guys up here in a second. Um, Gilbert's going to go here. Hmm, I won't do this. Gilbert, do I want to go with Sir Denrick? I want to kill this guy. If he gets killed, I'll be happy. All right, I will go here, and I will stab at that guy, so I get an attack of four. All right, attack of four, the defense of five. Two. Oh, two. All right, then I get Jando's Dispatch to see if I can move any of the knights further up, or those militiamen, I do have the option of them. Ooh, four. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna be moving some uh, knights. This one will go one, two, three, four. This one will go. Um, one, two, three, four. Actually, I'm not going to use my movement on him because he'll just get there on his own. I'm going to move it out. The rest on the militia, man. They get to go four. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this guy will go one, two, three, four. All right. And that's it. So now the knights get their turn. This knight will go oops, right to here. This knight will go over to here, because they engage in combat with that guy. This knight is going to run up, help try to kill that hound. And then this guy's going to stay here, because I want that glyph. So. Alright, we've got uh, the knight that's next to Gilbert. He's going to swing down at the hound, so i got five dice for this one. Hey, you have a chance. Three! That is the last hound. It will be killed. And then the other two knights are going to swing at Mr. Uh, the, uh, what is it? Kimoshi. Kimoshi. All right, so I get four, because I am higher again. I have four defense. Three. That's three wounds. Three wounds, and then the other knight gets to swing at that guy. None. Good. We now have our third dead hound. Goodbye. Yeah, they still killed three of my knights on that luck roll. Yep, but other than that, they kind of just died. And then this guy took three wounds. And now he's down to one life left. Yeah, let's kill him. But unluckily for Zach, 
It is his turn! Oh crap, what's he gonna do? He is going to stand still. Yeah, you don't want to disengage, because my special ability is when, uh, when usually when you disengage in combat, if you move away, you roll one of these dies, and if you roll the skull, they take a wound. I get two, though, with these knights, so he really doesn't want to move away. And then he will stab at the knight that's facing away from him? Sure. Away? Yeah, that guy. Well, you know, he's kind of like, oh no, there's some pillars! <laughs> yeah, pillars. Okay, so Kimoshi has an attack of four, and the knights have a defense of five. Oh, six? So I got that glyph. Oh, snap. Wait. Oh, snap. Yep. Well, free. That's a good attack. None. None. Nothing. <laughs> he would have murdered my dude. <laughs> but alas, he is dead. But wait, there's more. There's a mind shackle, right? No. Oh. Mind shackle only works on unique figures. Right, okay, these are common. Mind Shackle is an ability where I can take control, or attempt to take control of someone. Uh, but the thing when I said, but wait, there's more, is toxic skin. So it's oh, just like the Marvin Hounds ability, but I have to roll a 17, in which I rolled a 20. This, this is, this is, I don't like these toxic skin. They're taking out my troops. These two knights have perished. This one got Mauled to death, and that one got killed by the toxic gas? gas. I don't know. This maybe thing. maybe Kimoshi farted and he died. Who knows? All right, then it's me. My third one is these knights, and I have two left. Do I really want to move this guy? I don't think so. But first, I get to move my uh, human champion bonding. Mr. Gilbert is gonna go. Um, you disengaged that rock. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna go in the middle of all my stingers? Yep. He's gonna go, yeah, for the cause! Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Who's he gonna swing at? He's going to uh, swing at. Ah, do I wanna take a stinger out? I wanna try to kill your hero. Hmm. I'm gonna try to take out, uh, we'll go with a stinger. Uh, this one. No, not that one. This one. I wanna take this one. Anything but that one. All right, I get a four attack. And my stinger has a good old whopping three defense. Three! That means a shield on every one of these. Nope, you did not succeed. Uh, wait, I changed the dice illegally. Yeah, it dead. shows three shields. Chandor's dispatch, two. Oh, wait. Boo! Okay, so which stinger died? This one, it's dead. Here you go. Shink. And then I'm gonna move with two, the militiamen. It's gonna go as follows. Um, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. That was brilliant. Yep, and then, uh. Your knight? The knight, the one knight. He's gonna go one, two, three, four. Cause I wanna leave that guy on the cliff. At least the bonus is you know can attack. His defense is really good, so it's gonna be hard to get him off there, hopefully. Alright, that knight is gonna swing down at that stinger. Alright, this little knight is gonna help out his buddy Jandar, or the Sir Gilbert, <laughs> and uh, he's gonna swing down at that stinger. He gets an attack of five. That's in my box, but I still beat you. Yeah, one. It was an A box, though. <laughs> Troops that died. Alright, just an update as how the battle's going, because we're now in round three. I have lost uh, six knights. And three hounds. So and uh, oh, and, and a stinger. Oh, and a stinger. Yeah. And then our we got two heroes. Mine's kind of hurting. Yours is really almost dead. But you still got two other heroes, and I got all my militiamen still ready to fight. So uh, here we go. Initiative a three. Seventeen. Up first, we have the Maro Stingers. This guy will go. Hello. And this guy will go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oops. One, two, one, two three, four. I'll, I'll sit in the back here. And then they will now begin their stinger drain as they prepare to fire. I roll good, guys. That's a 12, so it's good enough for the plus one. So, we'll do this lower stinger first on this higher knight, which will have defensive six and I'll have an attack of four. Four. Really two. He's kind of dead. Yeah, he's, he's dead. And then we'll do this stinger. Actually, we'll do this stinger on him. 
Mr. Sir Gilbert, who has a defense of what? Six. Six again. Hey, none. It's cool. the opposite of four. And this guy will go there. He has now a defense one. of five. Three. One. Two right, more two lives. Left. I'm not rolling these defense well. All right, I'm going to be going with uh, the Knights. Number number one. I ain't moving off that glyph. Uh, human champion bonding, though, takes place first anyway, so he's going to stab that stinger and then do this dispatch. All right, I get four attack. Three defense dice, in which I rolled none. Two! Good to go. He's kind of dead. Goodbye. Then Jander's dispatch. That guy's been removed, and, uh, oops, I dropped one. Let's see. I got two. This massive movement of two, he charges forward towards the army of the seven remaining Mara. Then I get my normal movement of five. For your knights. Oh, right, seven. That wasn't their turn. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, the knights get to go. He's going to stay on the glyph, and he ain't going to attack. So that's it for my turn. And then for my turn, Kimoshi will get to move again. Oh, oh snap. And then he will go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then... He will do his mind shackle. This better not go well. So if I roll a 19 or a 20, I take control of him. And I keep up the 20s. Oh, oh come on. Really? Um, really? There really? we go. That's that's not fun. That's that's terrible. Being added to my army, Sir Gilbert, and all of his wound markers. Uh, what <sighs> happens to the other stuff that's on him? What other stuff? Uh, I'm pretty sure your wounds are still Any other markers on the chosen army card. I didn't have any on there, so. Okay. Well, Sir Gilbert, I'm sorry you've been possessed. But hey, if you kill Kimoshi, you get Sir Gilbert back. Well, I guess I'm going to kill him. Uh, but now, alas, I have to roll for Toxic Skin. And uh, Sir Gilbert, let's see if Sir Gilbert takes a wound. 17 or higher. Uh, yeah, Sir Gilbert takes another wound. And then my Mara Stinger, which is next to him. Oh, but dies. Does not of take a wound. Of course, that one doesn't die. My guy takes a wound. Hey! Alright. For the first time I'm actually taking a turn this game, it's the 4th uh, Massachusetts line, the Militiamen. They get to move 5. If I kept them still, though, they'd get a plus attack, but none of them are in range to shoot anybody, so... This guy will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. This guy will go 2... Five. One, two. And then this guy's gonna go. One, two, three. I'll see what this glyph is. I'm gonna reveal it. Alright, the glyph is the. Oh, another defense. Another defense glyph. That's brilliant. That, that sucks for me. That You need to deal with that definitely. I can't believe they both were defense glyphs. That's funny. Alright, then my last militiaman. He's gonna go. One, two, three, four, five. He's gonna start climbing this ladder because why the hell not? He likes ladders, they're fun. Oh, come on, stick in the ladder. Here we go. Alright, then uh, for attacking purposes, they have a range of six. So, um, this guy will attack this guy. And then depending on how it goes, this guy will probably attack him too. If not, I'll just shoot at uh, that uh, stinger. Okay. The first Massachusetts guy has attack of two. Against my defense of five. Here we go. We'll find Roar. out. Roar! One. One. Hey, the other guy will then shoot at this one. Guy. You better lie to two. Kimoshi. Kimoshi dies. Yeah, and Sir Gilbert is three. Give me, give me. As punishment for his crimes against the Morrow, Miberksa will move to kill Sir Gilbert. I haven't committed any crimes. We're valiant people. He'll go here and he'll paralyze you, hopefully. Let us see if he is successful in his endeavor. Seventeen is a success. The seventeen, Sir Gilbert will roll no defenses as I roll three attack dice and I have to roll one skull to kill him. I blame which this. I rolled, rolled three. All. Okay, we're just gonna say Gilbert was like, all like, oh my gosh, I was possessed. I'm free. I'm <laughs> yep. Bye, Sir Gilbert. He led the charge brilliantly. I support you. Alright, it is the 4th Massachusetts line. They, uh, 
They will still be moving. This guy up here will go one, two, three, four, five. This guy will go one, two, um, three, four, five. Let's get some little heights. Strangely enough, they can still shoot on ladders. It's in the game rules. We go with it. Uh, this guy. He's gonna go point blank. He's just running up there with his gun. Actually, I don't want you to have the height advantage. And I'm gonna be moving one guy over here. One, two, three, four, five. That Alrighty. guy. Now, uh, these two guys are gonna be shooting at uh, him. And uh, we're just gonna shoot at him until he's dead. Otherwise, then this guy's gonna shoot that guy, and that guy's gonna shoot that guy. Okay. They load up their muskets. They get an attack of two plus one because they're higher on that. Mr. Eberksa, uh, and you have a defense of what, three? Three! But your old one. Two! Yeah. So one wound. Two, yeah, life, two left. life left. So the one that's also higher, standing on the ladder, will strangely enough point his gun as he holds on to not fall off, and he'll shoot. Two! Dead. Alright, so he'll be removed from gameplay, and then uh, the guy who ran in is going to go shoot the guy he's standing next to. He has attack of two. One. One. So that guy didn't die. Goodbye, me works. Uh. Alrighty, and that's the end of this round then, so we go on to probably, we'll see how the next round goes, given the next round, that will probably decide what happens. So as of right now, I only did lose these two guys on that round, but you lost two heroes and another uh, stinger, that kind of stinks. But the one hero is that one life left. Yeah, he still did pretty good, given that he only had one life left. He took out a guy and possessed my guy. He killed two of your knights and then possessed them. Yep. All right, so now we're on to the uh, third round, or fourth round, whatever, whatever round this is. I think it's fourth. Anyway, uh, so we'll get to see uh, who goes first. Eight. Seventeen. Oh, no. All right, it is uh, the fourth Massachusetts line again. And uh, they're going to do wait, then fire. And what that will allow them to do is they get an extra attack die. So what will happen is I guess this guy won't be in range if that guy misses. This, or that this? guy's not in range of like anybody but that guy, so yeah. he might waste it, but otherwise, we'll see how this goes. So, this guy, with four attack dice, is gonna hit that guy. If he fails, this guy will back him up. Otherwise, this guy, I guess, has to shoot that guy. If that guy's dead, then that guy. Okay. Right. Uh, the guy on the tower will shoot. Bang! Four! Two! Bang! That guy did. And then the other guy will shoot down again. That's the Yamar that's watching him, coming at him with a gun, like, Phew! One done. Oh, dang, I was lucky. So we've lost this one and this one. But now, the Mar Stingers will get a chance at retaliation. So, they will move up their forward five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. He's just going to charge at him. Yep. Be like, I'm going to kill you. We're gonna do something that I like to call Stinger Drain now. Will it be successful? Let's find out. Ooh, 15. So we will now get extra firepower. Right. Plus cliff. So Plus what will cliff. happen is this guy will shoot this guy, and if he fails, this guy will shoot that guy. Otherwise, this guy will shoot that guy. All right, so uh, my defense, this is ridiculous, guys. I get a two standard, but because all my troops are valiant, I get a plus one. Then I'm higher, so I get a plus one. Then I've got two defense cliffs. Boom. I have four attackers to six defense. Let's go. One. One. Damn it. And then we'll do it again. None. That sucks. All right, it's the militiamen again. They are going to do... I don't think they need wait and fire. I want to move some guys up. So, what will happen is... I'm going to move this guy, one, two, three, four, five. And then this guy, one, two, three, four, five. And then, oh, wait, oh, wait, I want to still activate. Oh, uh, No, he's not going to move. What's going to happen is I want to shoot with these three guys then. Um, so, this guy can still shoot. Mm -hmm. And if he fails, this guy can help him out. And if 
he fails, that guy will shoot him. Otherwise, this guy's shooting that guy. So hopefully, I can eliminate the stingers from this. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm on the tower shooting down at that guy. It's three versus three. One. None. Dead. Then the other one's going to shoot down at the other guy. Two. Two. Okay, he's safe. The stingers have not been eliminated. This stinger was eliminated. And this one was not, but before doing his stinger drain and shooting that guy, he'll back up to his nice little corner. Actually, he'll commit suicide and go right here. I was wondering if you're going to commit suicide. So is he going to commit suicide or is he going to try to play the long game? We'll find out. Now we'll begin the stinger drain part. Hurl to six, so nothing happens. Alright, now you get to attack. I have a defense of six. Five. Or five, yeah, I took it out. I had, it. I had the wrong number in my head. And I have attack of three, in which I rolled one. Two! Europe. Alrighty, Europe's a good country. I mean, uh, never mind. That was bad, guys. Don't tell bad jokes like me. Alright, I don't want to do weight than fire. Um, this guy's gonna go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Hey, little guy. What up? Um, these guys are going to come up. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to be shooting with these two guys at that guy. And then that guy at that guy. I have defense of three on my stinger. I have an attack of three. So here we go. One. Dead. Alright, then the same level guy's gonna attack me, Burke, so we'll see how well this goes, because I only have two and he has six. Oh yeah. One. Woo! Yeah! He might as well just die! So he has five lives. Okay. Stinger dead. He took a wound, but luckily it's his turn! He's the last hope for the morrow. He is a good champion, but we'll see. Can he take on the entire militia, man? I'll go up there and stab a -roo. Let's see. I wanna try to get. I uh, don't need a single militia man. We'll find out how this goes. Alright, three versus five. Let's see. Two. One. He does get one killed. Okay, new order. It's round uh, five, I believe. Fourteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Darn you. So, it's the it's gonna be the militia man Denrick versus Niburksa. Uh, or Mikaksa. Sorry, my bad. Alright, it's the militia man. They, uh, they're gonna start getting into position for this guy. Yeah, he, uh, he is kind of worrying us. Uh, this guy's gonna go. One. He's gonna jump down. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this guy's gonna stay here. That guy's gonna stay there. Uh, I'm gonna move this guy back here. He's gonna go. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to be moving this guy. One, two, three. Or five. And these two guys, bang! Okay. So you're getting shot at. Three for me. Six for me. Two. One. So one wound. And then again. One. Again. Wow. The chances. You're rolling like my defense. Bro. I know. I guess I didn't really roll defense for those guys. Alright, it's me, Bur me, me, Gox, me Goxa, and he'll just cower behind this. Right. Really? He's gonna cower? Yes, he's gonna go right there. Oh, he's cowering. All right, it is the militiamen. They, uh, I know what you're trying to do. I see what you're doing. You're gonna go after him, aren't you? And he's gonna go, uh, one, two, three, four, five. This guy will go, one, two, three, four, five. And then this guy will go, one, Two, three, four, five. Uh, that's it. Okay, and Migaxa will stay where he is. You're really gonna do this? I am. You're, really gonna, You're gonna come to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> three. Fine. We'll play it the hard way. These guys are gonna go. One, two, three, four, five. No height advantage for you. But you can't get into range to hit me, can you? Oh, yep. Can. I have a six yeah. movement, so if you... One, two, three, four... Oh, so you do yeah. get a point. Okay. 
Oh, I guess I have five movement, but... This guy will go here. Um, these guys. One, two, three, four, five. And the other guy is going to go... One, Just so two, you know, he's not visible from here. Well, that's crap. I'm still going to shoot him out. Okay. <laughs> I could just bring Denrick up. That's the plan. Mind control. All right. <laughs> and then I just send Denrick after you. All right, here we go. So the uh, militiaman shooting. Two, good. two. Good. And I have six defense. One. None! <laughs> that's three nuns. This is great. All right. Well, we're going to go move him out. And he's going to go here and whack out. One. Fence of three, four, five. Four. One. That guy's on close. Oh, yeah, you have your Valiant bonus, too. Well, safe. One. All right, new order, which mine's the same. All right, uh, initiative rolls. Nine. Four versus his nine. Okay. Who's your one? My one is the Militiaman. All right, this could be it. Okay, this guy's gonna go one, two, three, four. This guy's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh well, no, he can stay here and still hit him. Um, and it's gonna be these three guys will shoot him. All right, this is it. Same level guy. None. Good. And the higher guys. Two. Two. Ooh, I see at least two, yep. And then the other guy. Well, now he will hold on probably. Two. Two. Dang. Hey, he did something with his miserable life. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be him right now. All right. He'll do his last effort. A whack in him. Okay, let's see. Can he kill him? Two. And a chip. Two. Well, nah, he did nothing. All right, Sir Denrick, he goes five. One, two, three, four, five. He's finally gonna come see some action, hopefully. He'll stab at him again, good old Nigaxa. Okay, my three attack versus five defense. What do he do? All right, who's next for you? Okay. Wish him in. They're going to do wait, fire! All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Same level guy. He gets an extra attack die for the weight and fire. One. Good old nun. <laughs> but he's still alive. Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead. That was it. Boom. Wah, 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 wah. And Jandar is victorious as he defeated these scummy aliens. Anyway, let's discuss the game. All right, yeah, get back over here. I don't care. Don't. Okay, he picked up a gun. Everybody, this ain't good. Now he's loading it. Oh. <laughs> Me. All right. So, uh, yeah, I definitely really like this game. This is one of our favorite games to play, especially when there's only two of us. Like. Yeah, good. I think most of the games we play is either Dominion is two player, this is two player. We have another one, Fleet Captains is two player. That's basically the ones we pull out the most. Um, but I really like this game. This is a good strategy game. Like, there's definitely strategy in picking the armies that go up against each other, yep. and then how you use them. Because uh, certain armies mesh really well. Like this army, I feel like is a really good army that works really well together. I think yeah. they could take on a lot of different scenarios. Just because you got the knights that can move the heroes up with them, and with uh, Gilbert. I was able to move these knights up really quick. Yeah. Like, these guys are really... I would say they're bad on their own. Like, because their movement's just really slow. They don't get anywhere really quick. And units that can outmaneuver and shoot yeah. and get to height first really do well. But these guys in this game were just tanks. Like... You had two defense glyphs as well. Like and a height advantage. And a height advantage most times. So it was really hard for you to get these guys dead. You just got lucky a lot yeah. with those... Uh, kill them off. The, 20s. Yeah. Um, so they were really good. Uh, Gilbert's really good at moving them up. I like him a lot. Uh, Denrick's good, especially against huge figures. I really like him. He's a good hero to yeah. get the knights. Uh, and on his own, he's also pretty decent. Even there's not like a 
like a huge figure on. Yeah. I still feel he's really good, but I definitely would get him with knights. And then the militia men, I really like. Oops, by Denric. The militia men, one of my favorite range units, especially yeah. with a whole valiant army. If you have a whole valiant army, you get that defense. Uh, extra defense and these guys if you get to the height advantage and you hold their ground and do wait and then fire boom like once I have these guys in the towers I'm like yep there we go got yeah. this well, wasn't much I could do towards the end because you had your knights keeping my guys back yep and then that was my plan my plan was when I moved my army up I was gonna move all the knights up just go to town with them and then just as like because I assumed his army then would move and meet mine like somewhere here and then I get the militia men after the knights start to kind of wear down. Get the militia men on some height. Hopefully, blast him in this area here, and then finish. It him also off. hurt that you had two defense glyphs. Yeah, that definitely didn't help. But uh, that that gave me definitely a really good advantage there because it was hard for you to eliminate my troops. Uh, well, tell us about your army. What did you have a uh, your plan? So yeah, we uh, the way this happened was he picked both armies and I picked the one uh, that I wanted to go so, with. So. We'll start with Nigaxa, the most useless figure in the game. Really? Nigaxa? I, well, he rolled, I rolled zero oh, yeah. so much. But I love him, though, usually, because his defense is really his good. His defense is strong, his attack's kind of wimpy, and his mind shackle ability after all 20, so there's a 5% chance. And it can only be on a unique card, so most of the time I will never go Nigaxa, but he fit thematically, so. I really like him. I feel like he's a good unit in close combat uh, situations, because he's got the good defense. I mean, I don't think his attack is that bad. It's a three. For a hero. If you get a higher... Well, uh... There's also... Gilbert's uh, three. Yeah, but he's got other it's special abilities that yeah. make up for it. I don't like, think... His Nigaxa's special ability special... isn't that good. Yeah. I don't like the uh, mind shackle abilities. You got lucky, though, and got it. Yeah. I say when you pick your army, I wouldn't pick uh, those guys based off of, oh, I could take over a unique hero. Unless they're yeah. all unique heroes. Yeah. Then, And there's ways to improve the uh, ability. I don't know if there is. Uh, there's a glyph. Okay, yeah, the that's plus it. one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, um, Kimoshi's a little better, I think. Definitely. Kimoshi's definitely better, but he also costs 40 more points. Yeah. He moves a little farther. He has less health, but stronger attack and defense. Well, no, his defense is lower. Their defense is lower. Uh, but his mind shackle is a 19 or 20, so 10% chance. Right? Is that 10%? Yeah. Yeah. And then Toxic Skin is also nice because it poisons anything nearby. Yeah. The Margaret Hounds do that same thing. They yeah. got the plague. But it's 16 or higher for them. Mm -hmm. I think if you had more of these hounds, that yeah. would have been better. Um, the plague definitely is nasty. Also, when you can't move them that well. Yeah. Uh, they're not my favorite, but they're pretty good sometimes. Uh, the Stingers, though. Oh. The stingers are good if you get them the height advantage. I love the Stingers, though. They're fun. Like, yeah, definitely on a height advantage when you can shoot people down. They can. But against your armies. massive defense army, they were pretty useless. Like, all these guys were good that I had, but he had so much defense on his knights that I couldn't do anything. Yeah. Now, if I, uh, even if I didn't have that defense, I still feel I was doing. I would have done pretty well against them when I had these guys on the height the advantage. Height advantage, but I don't think you would have yeah. gotten them there because I would have been able to shoot down your knights faster because you had less defense. Yeah. Once I think it took way too long for me to. Well, kill once them I up. had, I had this defense glyph. And then I got the second one way later, so I say, like, I had the height yeah. advantage and that defense clip, which really hurt. So that made these guys really tanky. Um, but that makes the advantage. The thing I really like about this game, especially on these type of boards, is usually you throw these glyphs in so that the armies are kind of forced to clash. Yeah. Like, you can't just kind of wait back and be like, I'm going to let them come to me. Because these glyphs really make a difference. So yeah. definitely, like, in this game, as you can see, he could have waited back there for me, but I would have gotten these glyphs and then... Yeah. That would have stunk. But if you, like we both collide, we would definitely want to fight for these glyphs because, as you can see, they're definitely a game changer. You want to control them. Um, your last hero was Niburksa. He's a really good one too. He's only 50 he's one of my favorite two. heroes because of the fact that he's, he's really mobile cheap. and he can shoot. He's cheap. He's fast. He's got a good attack. He's got an okay defense. Yeah, he only, he couldn't get onto like these towers on, on this yeah. board, but like if he gets the height advantage on bigger boards and, and stuff uh, like that. his paralyzing stare, which if you roll well, makes the opponent not able to roll defenses. Really good. That's pretty powerful. It's pretty much automatic damage at that point. You just yeah. have to see how much you do. Hopefully you do Definitely, something. I think he's definitely a hero killer. I wouldn't yeah. say like, the paralyzing stare's great, but I'd say definitely that's yeah. good at dealing damage to the heroes. Like, you can take out units, but I definitely like that on heroes. Yep. Um, but yeah, so the, the fun part about this game is that's just a small fraction of the units. There's dragons, and there's uh, ninjas, and robots, and all this stuff. 
So uh, if you guys liked this battle, we can do more in the future. There's a whole bunch of boards. Yeah. Uh, there's even like scenarios. We could do a campaign. Um, there's a bunch of options here. So if you liked seeing HeroScape, leave a comment below, leave a like. Uh, subscribe for more content. We might play other games, so let us know if there's a game. We have a whole gaming collection, so uh, we might have it, and we can play that for you guys. Uh, there's also Dominion, Dominating Dominion, our main show. Yep. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, that's where we uh, discuss strategies for the Dominion card game, and uh, you get to see us play that as well. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you at the next game.